the data dropping just now, you have a PCE uh, core coming in on a year-on-year -year basis, bang in line with estimates, 1.9% month-on-month, bang in line with estimates, coming in two-tenths of 1%. If you go back to November, that's also being revised up uh, to two-tenths of 1%. And digging into the well, personal spend, go ahead, yeah, David. But look at the personal income, personal spending. For January, personal income is down a tenth of a percent. It was going to, they thought it was going to be up three-tenths of a percent. And personal spending for December is down five-tenths of a percent. And the projection was three-tenths of a percent. Well, at least the December personal spending kind of really backs up the retail sales number, that's right? True. That was pretty yeah, that's bad. So, fair point. Uh, and, and to be fair, for November, those numbers for uh, real personal spending and was revised up. So that, uh, you know, that's something at the yeah. end of the day. But, you know, to your point, two-tenths spread sort of off the highs of that session. Well, particularly well. given what we're seeing in the job market with wages and as well as employment, uh, it's a little surprising, at least to me, that personal income would be uh, going down rather than up. And uh, U.S. incomes overall, uh, you know, uh, falling in January. You had a big boost in special payouts and then that kind of dropping off uh, a little bit there as well. Okay, so joining us now is Peter Coy. He's Bloomberg Businessweek economics editor. And still with us is Jim Paulson of Luthold Group. Peter, I'll start with you looking at these numbers. I suppose this really reinforces what Chairman Powell's been saying. We don't see inflation right now. That is for sure. The message is patience. And this, uh, it's, if we're data dependent, then this is yet one more piece of data that tells you no rush about raising rates. Uh, we had a, a great piece by Craig Torres, uh, Bloomberg News in Washington, about this topic of patience and how the, the idea of preemption, the idea that you look at your model of the economy and if it predicts inflation, that therefore you want to be preemptive in raising rates to stop it, is out at the Fed now, and uh, for good reason. And how can that be given what's going on in the job market and wages and, for that matter, import expenses right. as well? Th that's, of course, the mystery. Uh, it, it just, we, we're, we're at a, in a Goldilocks time here. Extremely low unemployment and, and below target inflation. It's like truly amazing and we should be enjoying it while we have it. All right, well, uh, Bill Dudley echoing some similar statements. He's a former New York Fed president. Spoke to Michael McKee earlier this morning. Here's what he had to say. As long as inflation stays quiescent, Fed will probably be on hold. If, though, the economy keeps growing at above trend pace, more pressure on resources, inflation probably will start to drift back up again. So my best judgment is the Fed's probably not done yet. So, Jim, when you pair that with sort of what Peter was saying as well, I mean, is this just a, how much of a green light is this to go buy risk assets and continue to just say sell vol? You know, I, I think, Alex, this is, from, a, from an investment standpoint, very. it's a good report. I, mm -hmm. Last year, we were overheating. And we were overheating in the economy, and the, then the end game was coming, because if, if it was continuing, we were going to have to raise rates too much and create a recession. I think the fact that we're now getting weaker reports and we've slowed the pace of this recovery, I think that one outcome of that is we've elongated the recovery and elongated the bull market and financial assets. Uh, we, at full employment, 4% uh, or less unemployment, we can't grow at 3 plus and, and keep uh, a recovery alive. But if we grow at 2-ish again, then I, I think we could maybe uh, continue this recovery for a few more years. So to me, as long as reports don't fall off a cliff suggesting recession, but they just suggest slowdown, I think it allows the Fed uh, a much more comfort in, in, in their pause approach and bond players, and it allows, uh, I think, equity market to continue to climb higher. 